Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, hope you're all well. Okay, so a new map, a new start, and uh, so this is Silver Run. So this is our Jeep, and all we have to our name is a chainsaw, this Jeep, and a plot of land. So let me show you the land quickly. And we've also got a £25,000 debt because of this. So the only bit of land we own is this one here. 30 and um, yeah so basically <laughs> as you can see we had 666 quid but it's just gone down because um, yeah obviously the chainsaw so what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to rent a trailer so we're just going to rent a small trailer and try and get some monies so uh, might as well go for this one I suppose actually no um, three and a half. Uh, right, we'll go for this one. So that's going to cost us um, a fair bit. But let's go and get it hooked up in our Jeep. So the Jeep has got a winch to help me out a little bit. But obviously we'll be paying back that loan as soon as possible. So let's go up there and start logging, shall we? So in real life, I've been a chainsaw operative, so I know what I'm doing. But um, obviously I'm barely new to this game, especially the um, chainsaw side of it. So let's go up and see the land, shall we? So I won't be using super strength on this and I won't be doing anything dodgy when it comes to money. So I'm just going to yeah, sell all the wood on this land but I do intend to replant twice as many trees as I cut down. Okay so this is our bit of land. At the moment we've got nowhere to sleep. Let's jump out. Yeah we've got nowhere to sleep at the moment. So, yeah, we really need to sort something out. There is a tent that I could get for 500 quid. I think it's 500. But um, let me zoom out on the map so you can see. So, it's basically in between this stream. So, there's not many trees on here. But I think we'll be alright. I hope so, because obviously we've got that loan to pay off. Right, so farmhouses. Uh, right, so it's 50 quid for that tent. 250 for that one. Uh, so, we probably will go for this one. So, it's got a little hammock in. And, uh, yeah. But obviously, at the moment, because I'm going to be felling trees, I'm not going to be doing that. Right, so, our Jeep's down there. So, this is, uh, this is worth taking down. And, where possible, I'll avoid fell in onto the road <laughs> just like real life okay so this is the first victim and we won't get much money for this because this is uh, dead okay so I'm going to put it that way perfect right I have got a mod on that tells me how long the um, lengths are as well so let's delim this. And also the trader won't be able to take um, more than it's meant to. So I can't put too much weight in the trader for realism. Okay, so 3.2. Uh, let's go for 2 metres to start with. And I'm just going to slow my walking speed down if it'll let me, it's not going to let me great, off to a fantastic start ok so 173 kilogram and it lets me lift that up ok, a bizarre I'm not weak, but um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be hauling that around 
So we're going to say 100 kilograms. We're going to say 103 kilograms. Right, now hopefully this will let me strap it down. It won't. Great. So when I take that um, back, I'll be uh, getting a bail trainer. Oh, it's all gone wrong already. Don't roll away too far, please. Yeah, this is all just going to bounce out now. I could put it in the back of the Jeep. Um, just to do this first run. This is going to get so little money as well. Because <laughs> it's dead wood, so it's yeah, pretty much worthless. Anyway, yeah, I hope you're all well. hope you're all having a good day. So, I do have another series on this, but it was kind of a trial series. Right, I am going to just try that. Nope, it doesn't let me do it. So, let's go down, take the trailer down, have it adjusted so it's a bale trailer. We'll sell this tiny little bit of wood and then, uh, yeah, we'll come back and hit it hard. Yeah, so I used to do coppicing and, um, yeah, loved it. Very, very hard work, physically demanding. But um, coppice work is actually carbon neutral. We've gone the wrong way. No, we haven't. Yeah, so when you cut down wood and you coppice it, it grows back. And, uh, yeah, if you get the rotation right, it means that, um, yeah, you're not just massacring woodland. Because obviously... Yeah, woodland is extremely important, but it has to be maintained. And unfortunately, in the UK, lots of people buy woodland, don't know what they're doing with it. And, uh, yeah, we have woodland just killing itself because it needs to be maintained. But, yes, woodland's very expensive in the UK. So I did want to buy some woodland years ago, but unfortunately, landowners they buy up massive bits of woodland and then they sell it off in tiny little parcels of land at very very high amounts so they make a killing on it and um, yeah it means that the average person just can't buy woodland right so we only got 65 quid for that because obviously dead wood so let's go back swap this trader for something that's um, yeah strappable and then we can get some proper loads down here, secure as well, because obviously that was quite dangerous. I'm not going to pause too much of the um, first episode, so usually on other series I pause boring bits like this, but um, yeah, on the first couple of episodes I'll, uh, I'll leave it running. Okay, so we'll go up here. Oh, sorry, madam, that probably scared you. Oh, it was there anyway. Nice. So let's get this reconfigured to a bale trailer. Obviously, I will be buying our own trailer at some point, but at the moment, just can't afford it. Okay, can't customise it. Bugger it. <laughs> right. Okay, so... Yeah, that's cost us a bit of money, but that's right. Mistakes were made. But that's right, there's going to be lots of mistakes on this series. It's kind of still a learning curve. And then my third series will be all legit. It will have a bit of forestry, a bit of farming, a bit of... Um, yeah, production. Bit of everything. I'm probably not going to do mining on uh, 
this one. Right, so even though we've cut that dead wood down, I think we'll go for a proper tree this time and see whether we can make some monies. And then we can clear the dead wood up after. Because I will cut down all the trees on that little piece of land. And uh, yeah, replant them with um, healthy stuff. So we'll leave that dead wood there. And we'll probably go for one of them. Nice. Right, engine off. I mean, we could go for the pine. Yeah, let's do the pine. Perfect. I wish D lemon was this easy in real life. Yeah, even with a fire, copper sim is um, carbon neutral. So, yeah, really, really good. I did used to get a lot of grief because of my job, because people don't understand. Don't understand what you're doing. Right, we'll do one metre chunks. 104 kilo. Right. So, probably shouldn't be loading this on a hill. Okay, so I'll skip this bit. I'm genuinely going to go through, cut it into one metre lengths, and then, uh, yeah, load it onto that. So, I can't remember how many kilo this trailer can take but it's not too many so we really do need a trailer as soon as possible i'll put some in the jeep as well but yeah for now i'll um pop it on pause i will do all this legitimately back in a bit okay so we've still got some down there but let's see how the jeep copes with this so there's five logs in the back and six on the back of the trailer the map is completely standard, so if you wanted to, um, yeah, uh, challenge me on this, you're more than welcome. So I won't be planting any trees off camera or anything like that. And um, yeah, that plot of land is exactly how you buy it. And that will be the same with all of the plots that I buy in the future. So yeah. Um, obviously, if this was my Jeep, I wouldn't be putting logs like that right next to the window is it smash it I don't actually know whether you can no it doesn't look like you can uh, strap down in the back of the jeep no but yeah we won't be um, using this for every episode obviously so I can, the rule is, I can rent vehicles, but um, yeah, I have to pay the price. And if it's unrealistic, because of a mod or whatever, then um, yeah, I won't be renting. Yeah, this is, uh, this is very overweight, I think. If you look at the tyres, the tyres are not happy. But we need that money. And um, in England, at least, when you see a, um, especially a tree surgeon driving around, yes, their suspension is not happy either. So I know quite a few tree surgeons that have um, replaced their suspension, like their leaf springs, so they can take excessive amounts. And I, I don't like it. It's too dangerous because obviously their brakes are still standard. Right, so we got 1,331 for that, so that's really, really good. So I'm going to drive back and do the same. I'm not going to be cheating. So when you spawn logs in and stuff, they're always perfectly cut. But yeah, I'm not going to cheat because I'm going to enjoy this series. So I'll see you back at our place. Okay, so I'm just loading these up. Um, that one is 1.6 metres long, I think. Um, 
because obviously as you go up the tree they get thinner so it's easier to pick up and in real life um if anyone's interested when you um cut a tree down you um well if if you're a woodsman you'll usually have a bit of tape on you so it's basically a retractable tape and it fits on your belt and you clip it in to the log and then you walk along it with your chainsaw and you cut the lengths that are required and uh, yeah it works off a little hook and the amount of times I've still got mine I've still got all my equipment the amount of times that hook because obviously where it's retractable it springs back yeah hits you in the leg doesn't it and it really bloody hurts <laughs> I've turned the um, player speed down to 0.5 because um, yeah it's easier to do the cuts and obviously when you're working in the woods you're not running around right I think that's probably um, that is capacity now isn't it right so um, these can go in the back so how much have we got left Oh, I'll just throw that over there. Yeah, and tongs as well. Got all the equipment. Everything to make my life easier in the woods. Yeah, you don't get much money out of it though. Not in the UK. You could earn a lot more working in an office. But obviously, uh, yeah, I don't always want to be in an office. And it's very dangerous as well, using a chainsaw. Right, I think... Right, so this is 159 kilograms left, so probably just one more cut. Or two. by 88 kilogram so that bit there yeah we could pick that up nice one so I'll leave that this side and um, I'm gonna load the rest of these one meter logs in back in a moment right so again ridiculously overweight and we still have I think two more logs down there and this one so let's uh, let's try and get this down and sold oh no that back one isn't strapped in Right, so you can't load them like that. Right, um, let me just fix this back in a moment. Right, so uh, yeah, not ideal. Obviously, I'd take the back seat out. Um, but you can't do that on this game. So yeah, everything's secure. And um, in real life, obviously, I'd just put another couple of straps on. Because I'd have one kind of lengthwise not just width nice uh, physics yeah so I'll um, I'll see you at the wood yard okay this handles ridiculous here. it's way too overloaded but yeah that's all right okay so let's see how much this goes for this should be quite a lot um, the longer lengths of wood that you have on this game, the more money you get. So, if you want, if you are following me, um, sixteen fifty one, um, don't buy a little trailer. Buy a, a long trailer, and then um, you'll make more money out of that same bit of land. So, most of the bits of wood have been a meter so far. But like I said, I'm not going to cheat, just in case anyone does want to follow along. So this will all be legit. So that gives us 3,338 quid. So we still have this trailer um, until, yeah, tomorrow. So might as well make use of it, I suppose. It just means lots of trips, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll see you back at the, uh, at the place. Okay, so this one's the next one to go. And um, I've just been testing that the winch works. And I'm pleased to say it does. So we're going to fell it that way. 
And um, I have found a trailer that's £1,000, um, which should be able to uh, allow us to take bigger lengths, longer lengths. And with the um, winch there, I can winch it onto the trailer. So I haven't bought the trailer yet, um, but yeah, I've just kind of got it ready. Right. So yeah, um, let me really quickly... Right, so... 27. Is that going to work? Yeah, so if I cut 10 metres, and then I can show you the winch in action. Okay. Should have moved this really. Right, so pull winch rope, and hopefully the tree's rolled enough for us to be able to see the cut. Perfect. Right, so attach tree to winch, and then we should be able to put it the right direction right hopefully it doesn't move the jeep too much yeah nice absolutely perfect so we'll be able to pull them up and I think if I do this properly I'll actually be able to winch them onto the trailer but it doesn't matter if I can't um, I'll give that a try and if it doesn't work, I'll pull them up to a point where, yeah, the winch would have worked. And then from there onwards, I'll have to use super strength. So I have put super strength on here, but I'm going to use it as little as possible. Basically, when I roll machinery, I'll use it and to get me out of any glitches as well. But maybe if I roll machinery, I'll, um, I'll take some money off. Anyway, right, so... This will probably be um, the last load on that little green trailer. And if I cut this at 1.5 metre, can I pick it up? Yeah, 84 kilogram. Nice one. So these will be slightly longer lengths and that will give us slightly more money. I might even be able to do 2 metres, might I? Let's give it a try. Yeah, yeah, I'll be able to do that. So I'm going to load this trailer up. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so, um, yeah, ridiculously overloaded again. But this is most of the tree. There's a little bit left over there. But, um, yeah, this was getting quite excessive. So let's get this trailer out. I was trying not to um, run over that bit of tree we've got there. But, yeah. Okay, so it appears the game lets you pick up 200 kilograms. So you can see a couple of discs of wood in the middle of the um, back there. That was just where I was experimenting with um, weights. Oh, oh dear. Careful, mate. So yeah, 200 kilograms. And um, yeah, that's doable with tongs. Definitely. Because um, with tongs, you kind of you drag the wood usually so yeah wood tongs are really bloody useful and they're not expensive either I can't remember whether mine are Husqvarna or still I'm a still fan by the way I've got a 261 and um, yeah it's my chainsaw of preference anything still but um yeah, I think the tongs that were my favourite were actually Husqvarna. Same as my axe. My axe is Husqvarna. Anyway, right. I'm going to get this up to the woodyard. And then it will be the end of this one. So we'll see how much this gets us. And then, yeah, in the next episode, I'll be buying our £1,000 trailer. And then hopefully we'll be doing some bigger lengths of wood. And uh, I won't have the worry of paying the um, yeah rent for this. Hello, train. Right, so let's see how much we get. I'll undo the straps. Left the engine running. Nice. So we've almost got six grand. Absolutely perfect. So, yeah. 
Um, thanks for watching everyone, really appreciate each and every view and if you've liked this, um, fingers crossed, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.